Hello, welcome to Spurverts part two. I'm still here with Craig and Emma. This time we got some transfer news to kick us off. The Daily Mail say that Spurs scouts are monitoring Marseille striker Michi Bachuayi. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Don't have a go at me. I'm not Craig Mitch. Um, <laughs> he has scored 12 goals in 21 games this season. He's 22 years old. And guess what? He's a Belgian. How do we feel about him? Want him. Take him. Well, I was going to say, you know, it's not like we've got enough Belgians at, at the club. I think we need more. We need more strikers more. as well. We, but we, we do need, need more. A strike heart. I yeah. mean, I think, you know, it's a fairly uh, potch driven purchase, I would have thought. You know, it's exactly the kind of player that he's after. Mm. Young, hungry, in form. Belgian. Belgium. Yeah. Um, the Belgian Revolution at White Hart Lane. It's, I'm yeah, it's this just brilliant. Really, we love it. Um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, I suppose the only query you've kind of got to say is that obviously the standard of Ligue 1, Ligue 1, Ligue 1, I think yeah. that's how you say it, yeah, um, is obviously not where it's at compared to the Prem. Um, mm. In terms of strength and depth, like, you know, the teams at the top are obviously very good, but, you know, it's not, we've not got like a kind of Chelsea Leicester situation kind of going on. Yeah. In, over there, so you know whether he could cut it over here. But then again, we've been talking so much about how we need backup for Harry Kane. We desperately, just, we need we've got a young so side. We've got a lot of players that you probably wouldn't have thought are going to cut it in the Premier League at this, before you saw exactly. them play. Exactly, and exactly. They come up, and also like if he's got a lot of Belgian mates, you know that seems mm. to be helping with Belgian Spurs buddies. Like, somehow. Definitely, chemistry. They're all important. pals. There's always pictures of them on the they tour are, buses. I know together. it's great. Mm. They're all so happy. I like. I love our squad. I think there. it's good to <laughs> not have a, a huge ego and a superstar. We need someone that's kind of young. We'll listen to Poch's instructions. I won't be too gutted talent. about being on the bench sometimes when exactly, Harry Kane's exactly. starting. Because yeah. he never played too up front. Uh, so, yeah, I agree. He'd Let's get him. Get him. Get him now. Let's get him. Uh, how about this then, guys? Harry Redknapp says that Spurs can't win the league. He said, I do not see them winning it. To be fair, do we see ourselves winning the league? I, I, well, I've, oh, I've said this before. I don't think we can win the league this season. I don't think we score enough goals. I don't mm. think we're experienced enough yet. Yeah. Next season... Could be a whole, could possibly maybe be a whole different story, but th I don't think we're going to win this. I don't think we can win it, but I'm saying we should go for it, and this is what I've been saying because I just think if he's we got set, all positive now, if we set our <laughs> targets really high, shoot, shoot for, for the, the moon. moon yeah. If you miss, you'll be amongst the stars, Aww. or in this case, amongst Champions League stars. Or you'll <laughs> so burn up, shoot for that. the atmosphere, but yeah, yeah, or that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think I think we should just go for it because it it, it seems to be open. At, I know it's early, but it seems to be open at this point in time, and if we don't get it. Top four, why not go for it? Has Harry Redknapp got a hidden agenda here in any way? Well, Do we respect Harry Redknapp's opinion on, on us I, at the moment? Well, to be honest, like he can have as much of a hidden agenda as he wants. Like It's, yeah. <laughs> it's going to make no difference. We're obviously very happy with our manager. We're very happy yeah. with the state of play at the club. And he hasn't got, you know... He's he, generally positive. He, he us, is quite honest, positive when he speaks really about us. He's not really saying anything controversial. No. Either, by saying, no. I don't think they can so win it. I, I think, think a I lot think of people don't really think that we can win it. No, which is I mean, fine. I mean, actually, I think no one thinks that we can win it. Which is fine. That's <laughs> which is absolutely totally fine. fine by me. Yeah, happy to go in under the radar. Absolutely. And We've got a better chance than Leicester win. I'm just pointing out there. Ooh. Do you think? Really? Yes. We've got a better chance than people who, the team who are top of the league? Yeah. yeah. In December, six points above us. Yeah, well, yeah I think That's That's the same sort of logic of people saying that Liverpool have got a better chance than us, even though they're two places below. Because I feel like we're a team we've scored from most positions this season. I feel like Leicester are three people, drink water, Morris and Vardy. That's my opinion. Maybe, mate. But we talked a lot about that. Football, <laughs> football, football is a team sport, guys. Fair enough. Although I feel like we're pretty much Moussa Dembele at the moment. Anyway, <laughs> uh, um, speaking of our squad, Ryan Mason has said that he reckons he will be fit for the festive period. How good important kids. do we think that's going to be? I think it is a lot very. Of games, short yeah, amount of time. That's the thing. A lot yeah. of games, a short amount of time, and you know, God forbid we pick up any more injuries in that central defensive midfield. Yes. Extravaganza. Yeah. You know, we need. When we thought him Dembele back. was out. Exactly. Um, yeah. yeah, panic stations. And, it, and it just doesn't look like Winks and Carroll are really ready to step up. I mean, Carroll's been about oh, for yeah. a while, but mm. Winks doesn't look like he's ready to step up. We've got Onoma. He's looked decent every, the, yeah. the 30 seconds he's been getting at the end of every game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hair looks great. is he a bit more attacking? He is a bit more attacking, he is. But who knows if he can drop deep? Yeah. If, it, if the games come thick and fast and we need people to fill in for positions. He's been getting some game time, maybe. Yeah, and Nabil's back in training. Yes, he? he is. He's back in training. Um, so possibly, potentially, he'll be available. Probably not mm. next weekend, but subsequent Christmas. Nabil. We're on first like names you know terms. <laughs> we are on first Your names mate. terms. His brother, <laughs> sits, his brother sits very near me at the lane. Oh. Uh, and he always wears a Bentaleb shirt over his hoodie. Oh, Good that's guy. so cute. Yeah, he's 
Reese's a good guy, and whenever Ben Smith does stuff, he's the first. It's an indication of where Reese sits. I was going to say, you sit in the posh seats, the rest of us sit in with the normal people. said it before, said it again, my dad buys the tickets, guys. Thank you for watching Spurverts Part 2. Leave us a comment if you're interested in any more Belgians coming to Spurs. We would love them. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Drop us a like, and we will see you soon. How's it going, guys? It is me, Craig Mitch, and we are going to do a video for the top five Spurs pundits.